and experienced they are that they're they're getting that leverage and the technique and you know the, the hand balance and the stuff that you guys have been. Preaching. Well, I'm not surprised, but I, I'm happy about it. Yeah. You know, I think there was a question mark going in that you know to play a quality, mature, big line like that that we're going to have to use technique and leverage, and and we were able to do that. You asked this, I guess. Uh, Carefully, but as you watched that game, did you tell some of the tugging that was going on up front? Was that bothering your guys a little? It seemed like they were there was a little bit of frustration from from their end at times. In that game. Well, you know, I, I think you get a feel for the game as it flows, and and sometimes um, there's not any calls being made, and and we just have a motto: hey, don't gripe about it, just keep playing. So that's the way it is. How did you feel like the defensive line responded in that situation at Oklahoma? Well, I, you know, I thought, you know, we had a great demeanor on the sideline. We had a great spirit uh, that, you know, um, even after the turnover, nobody hung their head. And so, you know, they were just out there competing. They knew they had good quality opponent across from them. It was a good challenge. What do you feel like they need to make the most progress before the Georgia game? Well, I think pass rush is an area for us. You know, we let a couple get away, and I think that, you know, we did a good job in the run game is, is holding up as best we could and, and, you know, just converting on pass, FBI knowing when it is pass, um, more violence in our hands and our pass rush. So that's kind of a focus for us this week. How many defensive linemen do you feel comfortable playing right now? Well, there were, you know, like in the Oklahoma game, there was six to seven that played. I want to love to get that number up, you know, as I gain confidence in certain guys to, you know, to get up there to the eight and nine move. How do you feel like O'Brien is holding up? Oh, I like O'Brien. You know, he's he played with great strain, great leverage on Saturday. Um, always uh, with him, it's ability to stay on his feet and be a little more athletic and those type things. But I love what he brings to the table. What about Jordan Williams? Jordan doing a good job. His hand violence has really improved. You know, against bigger players, he's able to, you know, use his hands and get off blocks. And again, excellent strain, especially from those inside guys taking on, you know, double teams and those kind of things. Has that been a tough adjustment from him? Because he came as an outside linebacker, then he's a defensive end, that defensive tackle. Yeah, probably it'd probably be a tough adjustment for anybody. But the thing about Jordan, he's a great kid. He's you know, he's a team player, and it's whatever it takes. And he's embraced his role as a defensive tackle and uh, accepts that challenge, so he's doing a great job. How big was it to see Travars back out there, and how much rust is there for him? Well, it's great to get him out there, and, you know, he's he's had a great attitude, and so we're looking forward to seeing exactly where he's at this week and getting him back in the rotation. How much, uh, I guess, uh, one day, and you haven't even seen film yet, it's probably tough to say, but, I mean, if anything else, is the attitude there, the motor kind of where it needs to be? or Oh, absolutely. Polish? I think he, he knows that... Um, you know, he's, he's up in his years and that every game and every rep is precious, so I think he appreciates that. Steve, it's only been three games and you guys mm -hmm. obviously have the SEC to go through, but have, have you guys exceeded your expectations? Well, I don't want to say they've exceeded my expectations. I had a high expectations for this crew, and I think that, you know, Barnett and some guys have added some elements to us. Um, you know, I think Saturday was a good test, you know, to be able to line up against a, a big physical offensive line like we're going to see in our conference every week. And so I think, we, you know, we felt good about the fact that we're playing with leverage, we're straining, we're using our hands, doing all those things. There's areas we obviously got to get better at, uh, pass rush being one. And so now we can maybe take this week and focus on those areas.